Nipsey, can you update me with this evening's news? Searching for evening news October 5th, 2024. Here are some highlights from this evening's news on October 5th, 2024. 1. NTD Evening News Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump returned to a rural Pennsylvania site where he was nearly assassinated. 2. World News Live Updates on international politics, economic changes, conflicts, and environmental issues are being covered. Yeah. 3. Love the Ziaz Evening the News agencies. Mixed them with the, the evening data. news is streamed live on YouTube and Facebook, covering various local and international stories. 4. CBS Evening News. F um, that's one of the ways the news does it with the rabbit R1. I should be able to break it down and get it to give me a letter. And even using their new one here. Go to news.google.com and tell me the top 10 news headlines. Searching now. Navigating to news.google.com to retrieve the top 10 news headlines. Here are the top 10 news headlines currently featured on Google News. 1. Tropical storm. Milton forms in Gulf of Mexico, forecast to hit Florida as hurricane. 2. Tropical storm. Milton forms in the Gulf, National Hurricane Center says. 3. Less than 10 days after Helene made landfall in Florida, the state is bracing for another hurricane. 4. Watch live as Trump returns to Pennsylvania rally shooting site to campaign with Vance. 5. Trump returns to Butler for rally at site of assassination attempt. Pretty close. 6. The widow of the former fire chief killed in the July attack said she planned to attend the rally. 7. Trump returns to Pennsylvania for a rally at the site of assassination attempt. These headlines cover a range of topics, including weather events and political news. You gave me seven headlines, and most of those were the same subject. Can you grab me different headlines? Searching for top news headlines. It's really handy for like reading for you and finding things for you. That's definitely one of the positives. But getting news out is here kind are of some diverse time. headlines from today's news. Let's see if it did here. One tropical storm, built-in tracker, spaghetti models, cone, and more. Two. Trump returns to Butler for rally at site of assassination attempt. Three. After the deluge, the lies. Misinformation and hoaxes about Helene cloud the recovery. 4. Historic Biltmore Estate shutters after floods from Hurricane Helene, ravage Asheville. 5. Biden Five. pledged to campaign hard for Harris. So far, he has been mostly a no-show. 6. She sought to prove her grandfather was poisoned at Camp Lejeune. Records she found could help thousands. 7. Was kind of Retired funny. Lee's Summit teacher writes, record song for Kansas City Royals fans. 8. Town and Country Police monitor apparent neo-Nazi demonstration. 9. Moss scores three touchdowns as number 25. Texas A&M gives number 9. Missouri its first loss in 41-10 to 10 route. 10. Number 25, Texas A&M gives number 9, Missouri, its first loss in 41-10 to 10 route. These headlines cover a range of topics, including weather events, political news, sports, and local stories. I've been slow at kind of testing and figuring out really what I would score the rabbit. 
I really like that the rabbit can go out and get information and it can find it for you. And if it finds something you don't like, there's always this push and talk or if it mishears you, which it does mishear you often. That's something I've noticed through all of the LLMs and uh, AI systems is it definitely will mishear you and go off on some other tangent or misunderstand. The thing I really hate about most of those is you've got to restart the conversation over and redirect it. Usually when this goes off into something else, I can push the push to talk and I can get back on track. I can tell her, hey, no. Sometimes I even get mad and say, hey, no, this is what you were supposed to do. Get me back on this. And she so usually picks up very excellently continues on with it. I'm yet to see that and the other ones that I've used is I usually use chat GBT if you've been using Gemini more. Uh, Copilot often with the voice. This is my primary vo vocal one. I tried talking to chat GBT and I don't really like how snippety it is with that. I got recently the glasses from Frame. And that one's pretty snippety, but it does, you can change that and mix it up a bit. Can't wait until they get some more options on that or I can get some more routed things through that. But I'll save frame uh, for another discussion here with this. Um, the recent update with the rabbit and the LIM, which you can do on your desktop just by giving it instructions by saying hey go to a website do this find that and do this it's integrated in with this talking as well so i can actually choose to either write it out on there and what do it you can watch it do it from here or on the desktop which i know sounds confusing without showing something like that i can make something more with that but you can say hey go to the website look at this information uh, get me information from here, get it from there. You can tell once you're signed in to your Amazon account on the LAM area, which they call the LAM playground, you can then get, sign in and log into your account. So you can go into like Amazon and then I can take a picture of an item and say, hey, this, where is this on Amazon or say go to Amazon find this item put it in my cart and then it can go do that here for me and get it in my car and I can come back and do it and purchase it. It's really an interesting thing. I like the way it pulls the information. It does really decent with that. It's pretty close on it and if I really have any questions I can further break it down. It's improved a lot since it's released because I know uh, when it released, I would get into some question that it would tell me that it really wasn't comfortable answering. Now it's got much better with that. It does well with going through and asking counter questions, which is the funnest thing I think ever with it there. As I can further break down any stories when I have random questions. I can do with that. And really to be honest, when I saw the CES thing, I thought it was overhyped and those things might not happen. It looks like they slowly are here with LAM. They've actually made big steps and it's getting there to be able to do these actions and get to where we want with that. When I saw it, at CES, I just really wanted something that I could push to talk, get access to LLM, have quick close-up. Um, also liked the assistant and reminders ideas, which since those are slowly out there, it's a little bit less than I would want. I think with this point, with it new having this lamb, that's one of the reasons I held back till this week to say more. Having lamb in there, I think, moves it from a 6 to a 7.5. Uh, 
I think when we get Lamb working really good and working through a lot of things, it'll take it up to an eight or a nine. And we really need those assistant things before I'll be like, yeah, that's super awesome and great with it. I think the on-demand quick being able to push it and describe how I want an image to be made on mid journey was a high point up there. That would probably have gave me two points to my score. I know I can kind of text to speech into my phone or to my computer and put that in there, but it's so much greater when I'm on the go. Like, hey, I want an image of a bear on a bicycle and I can just speak it to it and within a couple minutes it gets on there. It's handy and cool that they put the Sono one on there, which I don't use as much, but you can press and say, hey, I would like a song and then describe the song and it comes out. I'm a big Red Journey fan myself. I don't use the other features like the DoorDash and the Uber because I don't really have a use for those in general. So I know I do have some bias on that but it's like hey I'm not even using those I could see them really be helpful and I think it would need some testing because I don't know how accurate it is if I had to go lots of places and I regularly had the same order on the DoorDash because that's one of the things that seemed like you could go through and see a limited menu but you could definitely have a favorite and say, hey, get me my morning coffee. And I think that would be a cool thing if you had a routine job like that and you wanted certain things on certain days. And you didn't want to go out and get it. You wanted to have it delivered or so. Otherwise, to me, unless I don't have the time, I don't see much difference in food delivery. Sometimes I have lunch delivered to me, but otherwise it isn't really much use to me. I don't want somebody to go get me cold food and bring it and it's probably not even right. So that's not even something with me and I drive myself so I don't need an Uber but if it could do that that could be helpful for some people with that when they can do that I guess. It doesn't fit me with that. So objectively I would say about now I uh, would say seven and a half out of ten this lamb thing is really cool going out there and doing it occasionally we can we run into things like um your blockers on the websites the verification things which it has a little bit of trouble getting through and helping with those which takes things out like some cloud fed layer sites some mid journey i can't get on there i was interested to see if we could describe things, say, hey, make this image, and then I don't like that guy's hat, go on here and change that guy's hat, or so like that. I think that would be a really cool thing to see if I could get it to do. I think I'll drop some more case examples here in this, and I need to go through some of my videos and kind of just show really what they've been like with the experiences. News is my primary biggest one. That's usually what I hit it with every day. And some days it isn't as grindy as it was today. Today was a really harsh example. Sometimes it really does do good and gives me different news things. I also try different prompts though and say, hey, get me news articles and summarize them. Give me a line and then summarize it in a couple sentences to let me know what's going on. I did notice, though, on its behalf of that, that I had tried Gemini and asked Gemini to get me the top news, and it had also gone out there and got me news agencies, which is a strange thing. But I wanted to give a rating and drop my video about reviewing the Rabbit R1 and the state that it's in now. I think it's the thing to fair with it it's kind of in its infantile set of technology these ai companions are very new they're running and i think they're doing really good at catching up but when it first came out I'm like that's crazy because it's like it's 
doesn't know anything, it doesn't have all this experience and stuff behind it. And that's what really Rabbit Tech has came out and said with that too, is that they needed the data and the information to go on in order to help get it better. And it seems to show it's getting better and more fun to use every day. Take care.